Welcome back, multifamily investors. This is going to be a brief video. We do not have much that has hit in the last 24 hours. Just a duplex in Snohomish, one quad, uh, fourplex in Pierce, and two seller finance multifamily opportunities, and that's it. If you look at my market watch graph chart here in the last 24 hours, this is all of our MLS. This is just the five counties that I watch here. This is all of our MLS. We had six new listings in eco pending, so we're backwards negative two again. So inventory remains light. I did a video that's coming out this week uh, about the current status of all active uh, duplexes and fourplexes and triplexes in the five counties that I watch. And you can see how it's kind of ebbed and flowed since January 1. But let's dive into the, the handful that we have here. This one in Everett on Lane Place, 13 days on the market. So I think it probably fired did a walkthrough, just came back on the market. I don't think they did a price reduction after 13 days. Looks a little rough, not a lot of pictures. This is, this is all we get. Uh, three crappy exterior pictures. So we do like to read the descriptions that when I consult and advise clients on how we, how do we approach a property like this? If this is the right price, the right area that you're looking for, it's a two bed, one bath units. That's good. We look down here, there's 663 square feet. That's about, that's average, kind of a little less than average size. New roof 2022. That's good. Doesn't say much about the interiors other than that each has its own sh storage shed, uh, laundry area plus pantry shelving. So without, if they're not going to note all the updates, then you have to assume this is in pretty average condition or maybe even rough condition. Okay. So the goal here, again, in a property like this, it meets the budget, meets the location, uh, target area, right? So we just want to lock it up. You write an offer, you get in a contract and you assume that these units are about average 1941. Hopefully they were maybe updated at least once in the 60s, 70s or 80s since, since 1941, but probably not in the last 20 years. Otherwise they would be noting it here. So to help you kind of understand the process, we lock this up, submit an offer, lock it up. Then we get a preliminary walkthrough. We get to tour inside both these units and go, wow, this is way better than we thought. Let's move forward or holy crap, this is a hot mess. I wish there were more pictures. So it could have saved us all time. Uh, I'm out. So there's no harm, no foul. All we did was try and lock it up and get our chance to walk through it. And we wish that some listing agents would do a better effort, but this is what we get sometimes and that's it. So. Hope that's a little bit of an educational process when we look at listings like that with only a picture or two of the exterior. Here's a new one in Tacoma, fourplex, uh, under a million. Let's see. South Tacoma, again, <laughs> not not the best. Uh, oh my gosh. What was I just saying about pictures? Three tiny pictures, they're not even high res. They look like they stole them from a, a previous listing from years ago. So again, okay, probably built in the 70s or 80s. Yep, 1978, probably all two beds. Yep, two bed, one baths, 832 square feet, which is good size, better than the last one we just looked at. That was a duplex in Everett. Um, it is on sewer, which is nice. <clears throat> uh, let's see if the, the description helps us. Each unit offers two bed, one bath, large kitchen, washer and dryer, which is good. Uh, but there is no mention of updates. So we're gonna assume this property has probably not been updated since 1978. It's probably, it could be clean, could be an average condition, right? But unless they're noting, you're gonna assume this this property, that's why it's under a million by the way too. Um, so uh, there you go. Let's see what's next. The two seller finance multifamily opportunities. Oh, the one that we just looked at is a seller finance opportunity. So I should call and get, I'll get the terms on that and maybe share it with you. And then this one in Kankunuli, I don't even know where that's at. It's outside my service area, but I do. I watch all, all multifamily that's are offering seller financing. That's why um, sometimes these randos come up in my in my feed here. But this thing's been on for a while. I do remember looking at this before because I thought it, it kind of looked cool with this whole creek by it and stuff, and Kevin. Um, and that's it. That's nothing exciting. I'm sorry. There's not much to see today, but thank you for watching. I'll be back tomorrow.